to get your feedback from Upswing, open a new tab, go back to upswing.io, and then you will have to sign in again. You can log in, search for your school. Oops, I didn't have my cursor there, so if you start typing in the beginning of the college, you will find it. Sign in like you do with your Blackboard. And then enter your password that you use for Blackboard. Then go back where you uploaded an assignment for review. I also have this little alert here on the left. So I can click that as well. And then I see where I can view my submission and it says tutor review completed. I actually got a little email notice as well. And then there is a difference between uh, what I have uploaded and what they have left feedback on. So I want to make sure that I have what they have left feedback on. Yes, I have what they have left feedback on. This is the part that I want to upload as my draft for a grade. Okay, so the, the draft part. Now, when I get ready to uh, revise, I don't want to use this one. I want to just look at this one and use my original document to revise on. Otherwise, I have to delete all of these graphics and it it takes forever, so do yourself a favor and just revise on the original copy. Um, so when I'm ready to upload this part for a grade for my draft, I need to click Enable Editing, and I need to click File, Save As, and I'm going to browse. I like to save things to my desktop. I need to make sure I'm saving it as a Word document so that it can be seen. If I'm on a Mac and I don't have Word, I need to make sure I save it as a PDF and I can hit this drop box and find PDF. But I can't read pages, a pages document that is what Mac automatically saves as. Blackboard doesn't play well with Mac, sorry. Um, I wish it did. So then I'm gonna click Save. So I have this saved to the desktop. Now I can minimize this or just close this out and go back to Wallace State, click into my courses, I'm in a course here. So I just sign into Blackboard, go find where I have an assignment due. Um, here is where it says draft with feedback from Upswing and two of your own sentences explaining the two most important things you learned from the tutor. So click this, and you'll see from the rubric, again, if you see a rubric, look to see what, how things are graded, what points are awarded for what. So is the draft submitted on time? Did you write the most important things in your own words that you learned from the tutor? So do all of that. So that's where the big chunk of the draft grade. And also, did you submit a draft or did you submit an outline instead? An outline is not the same as a draft. An outline, you know, has the letters and Roman numerals. The draft has um, the actual finished looking essay. So it should look like what you would turn in if that's what you had to turn in the day you wrote the draft. But the good news is you get a professional tutor to review it and then you get to make revisions so and you can do that as many times as you want to so if you finish early and you get feedback miraculously early revise and submit it again you can do that as many times as you want now you don't have to submit to me the most recent revision for the draft grade uh, you just have to submit a draft with feedback so to do that you're going to hit browse local files you're going to upload that feedback. Let's see, there it is in my desktop. It was in both places. Usually it's just in desktop. So I found it. Um, it is now attached here. Scroll down 
Um, I think students sometimes forget to scroll. Scrolling is hugely important because you're missing a lot of material if you're not scrolling down and reading everything on every page. Then the two most important things I learned from the tutor are to pay attention to source integration, specifically, whatever it is, and then add a second sentence for, for maybe for future essays. I will really focus on, okay, so two sentences, not bullet points, okay, I want full sentences. So these are not full sentences, you write full sentences. And then click Submit, because you have attached your draft, and you click Submit. And I'm not in student views. Darn it. So you couldn't see what all that was. I'll do it once in student view. Go to Submit Upswing. I think that blue one is just getting your attention. I think our Upswing submission, I'm going to have to look. So sometimes I just make a title to get your attention, especially for this one. The blue underline title shows, the underlining also shows you it's a link for uploading. There's my rubric, browse local files, get my essay review. I'm going to make sure that it has everything on there. Right, remember, scroll, here's my attachment, scroll down, two sentences. Okay, two full sentences, not bullet points. And then I'm clicking submit, and now let's see if I can see what I did. So in here is where I'm going to see your writing about the two things that you found most important to revise. Um, and then here I can see all of my feedback. Okay. So when I go to grade the rubric, you'll be able to see where you got points for what. Okay. So when you go back to look at your work, you can see from the rubric where you might have missed something. Okay, that's it. Have a great week. Let me know if you have any questions.